Hey there! So today I'm going to show you the quickest, easiest way to add a video screen scroll to a mock-up screen, just like this one, using Canva. Also, I'm going to show you how I personally resize my screen so that if you want to be adding a screen scroll to, for instance, an iPhone, you can do that easily without having to crop down your video. It looks so fancy, you're going to be like, what? I didn't even realize it was so simple. So first what you want to do is grab a mock-up image. So I've already grabbed this one. I grabbed it from the Wellness Stock Shop mock-up collection. So you can see here, if you are a Wellness Stock Shop member, you've got all of these that you can tap into, um, which makes this really extra easy. So for the first thing that you need to do after you choose your mock-up image is you need to actually take a video screen scroll. So there are several different ways that you can do this. You can use Snagit, which is one of the programs that I use. That's something that you have to pay for. You can also use QuickTime Player, which is free if you have a Mac. So that's what I'm going to be using today. So what I'm going to do is just take a video screen scroll of this mock-up page just as a sample. So I'm going to go down to QuickTime Player and... I'm going to go ahead and say new screen recording and then it lets you size it however you want. So when you're considering which size you want to be recording, you need to keep in mind the size of the mock-up screen you're going to be adding this to. As you can see, this is a lot more long and narrow than the iPad screen that I have, but that's going to be okay because there's a lot of white space on either side, so I'll be able to size it down. I'm just going to go ahead and do this and record it just like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit record, and then I'm just gonna slowly scroll down. And then when I'm done, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit stop, and I've got my video recording. Now this isn't the best video recording because as you can see, my mouse was hovering over this and I've got these pop-ups, but this is good enough for what we're doing. I'm going to head over to Canva to my design and I'm going to say upload media, go to my device. I have my screen recording here and you'll see that it's uploading it here to videos. I can go ahead and click on this, drag it over and start to resize it for my mock-up screen. So the mock-up screen isn't completely straight on, so I'm going to move it around a little bit. I'm going to drag these sides in until it's about the size of the screen. Then I'm going to try to drag it over and center it as well as I can. If you need to make micro movements, you can use your up and down arrow or side by side arrow just like this. And then I'm going to crop this in on the sides and see how well this fits my screen. So you're just going to finesse it here. I can hit play and I see that my video scroll is inside the screen. It's so easy. So in addition to this, when you click on the video, you'll see it's 13.8 seconds and you can crop it here if you would like. Um, and then you can flip it, but let's go ahead to this where it shows the seconds. You can actually trim down the video. So this is only 13.8 seconds. It's important to know that on Instagram stories and Instagram reels, if you're going to be creating a video for that, the limit is 15 seconds. So you want to make sure to crop your video down by just dragging the sides here until you get to your desired time. But I don't need to do that. It looks great to me. So I'm just going to hit done. And then you can just go ahead and download your image just like normal. You can download it as a video, an MP4 video, or a GIF. And it depends on what platform you're loading it onto. But if you are loading it into Instagram or sending it in an email or putting it on your blog, I always download it as a GIF. That's how it works best for me. The other thing I want to show you is the image that you've created and put into the screen can be too bright. So if you want to make it look a little bit more realistic, you can go up here to the transparency and just dim it ever so slightly to make it look a little bit more realistic. 
Now I want to show you if you have, for instance, a iPhone mock-up like this and you want to add a video in here. Obviously, if I'm going to try to add the video that we just took, it's going to be way too big and it's going to totally crop it down, right? So you can't see the full screen. So if you have um, an Instagram feed that you want to show off or whatnot, we want to make sure that we're fitting it inside this iPhone. So one thing that you can do is you can just size your screen down manually and try to guess how wide it needs to be for an iPhone. So we could just do this and try to get it right. However, a lot of times that's really difficult to do. So I just wanted to bring your awareness to a little plugin that I have. It's right up here, you can see it. It's called Viewport Resizer. So this is just something that I got for free and I can click on it here and it's going to show up with this bar on top and it shows me all of these different sizing options. So it shows me an iPad Pro, um, the desktop screen, or a regular iPad, or here's an iPhone X. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it automatically resizes this screen for me. And so I can go ahead and now take a video scroll of this. So let me show you what that's like. So we're going to go to QuickTime Player again, do a new screen recording, and I'm just going to fit it around this screen here. And it's okay if you get a little bit of the extra stuff on the outside because you can always resize it. No problem. So we're just going to go ahead and record this. The tricky part is getting the slider on the side. So you have to actually have your cursor on the image that you're screen recording for the slider to go down. You'll get the hang of it. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. So now I have my screen recording. I can go over to Canva. again. Go to Upload Media. So now it's uploaded. I can go ahead and drag it and drop it into the iPhone screen. And voila, it's already resized to perfection. And I can show off my Instagram feed or whatever else I have to show off here. So there's a savvy little tip for you. So go have fun, explore inside the Wellness Stock Shop mock-up library or the templates library if you have a Wellness Stock Shop annual membership and have fun getting savvy.